Ice is frozen water. Remember, water molecules are made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded by a covalent bond to one oxygen atom. If you still have the molecules you made, take a look at them. If not, look at the picture. Remember, the large circle is the oxygen atom. The smaller circles are the hydrogen atoms, and the blue balls are the electrons that circle around the nucleus of each atom. When oxygen and hydrogen bond together, they share the electrons that are part of each circle. Individual water molecules are loosely bonded to other water molecules by hydrogen bonds. Take a look at the blue circle in the picture. Liquid water is H2O molecules in which the hydrogen bonds constantly break and reform like people shaking hands in a crowded room. But if we lower the temperature to about zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, those hydrogen bonds become more stable, locking the molecules together in a pattern that forms a crystal. These crystals take up more space than the free flowing molecules of liquid water. You can see that in the following drawing. The picture on the left shows the structure of the molecules in liquid water. There are eight molecules and they just flow around freely. The picture on the right shows the crystal pattern that the six water molecules make when they're cold enough to freeze. The hydrogen bonds hold the molecules in a very rigid hexagon shape. Of course, those pictures were flat, so they only show this in two dimensions. If we could see it in three dimensions, it would look a bit like the picture below, with the ice crystals going in all directions.